Plant Nutrition Humans and plants have had an important relationship for millions of years. They provide us with the most important gas required for our survival, oxygen. On top of that, they also give us food in the form of glucose. This is important so that we can have energy to work, live and play. In return, they don't even ask for food back. The reason behind that is because plants can use the sunlight to create food for themselves. This reaction is called photosynthesis. So let's see how it happens. Plants have holes in the bottom side of their leaves called stomata. This is where they take in gases such as carbon dioxide. Also, they take in water from their roots. These two, in combination with a green pigment called chlorophyll, and with the help of sunlight, combine together to make food for the plant. In return, oxygen is released, something that we desperately require, and also glucose is stored in the plant. So to summarize, a plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air through its stomata and absorbs water from the soil using its roots. Then, with the help of sunlight and chlorophyll, turns this into glucose, which is stored in the plant as a very important carbohydrate and also releases oxygen in the air through its stomata. Photosynthesis happens mainly in the leaves. So let's see what structure the leaves have which make them so great at doing photosynthesis. Number one, they are wide, which means there's a large surface for them to absorb sunlight. On top of that, most of the chlorophyll is located on top of the leaf, which means it's more likely to get the sunlight. These lines are supposed to represent veins. Veins are vessels that allow water to come into the plant and also take glucose away to other parts of the plant, such as the roots. While the top of the leaf is smooth and waxy, underneath is rough because of stomata. These are important as carbon dioxide can enter and at the same time oxygen and water vapour can leave. Now here we have a plant which has nice large green leaves, a strong stem and deep roots. So in addition to photosynthesis, the plant also needs to get minerals from the soil. These include nitrates, phosphates and potassium, all which are essential minerals that are found in the soil for the plant to absorb. Without nitrates, the plant will have yellow leaves and a weak stem. No phosphates means purple leaves and bad roots. And getting rid of potassium gives us yellow leaves with dead spots. So it's important that all three minerals are in the soil to have a very healthy plant. So make sure you take care of your plants. After all, humans and plants have been best friends for millions of years. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.